hey 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 everybody it's me amelia lady b welcome back to my channel last time i talked about inflammation and menopause and in this video i'm going to be discussing inflammation and alopecia um or hair loss in general if you haven't watched my last video i'll give a little brief caption or a brief, brief description about what inflammation is. So there are two types of inflammation. inflammation. It's good inflammation and bad inflammation. Inflammation in the body pretty much protects our immune system. It protects our organs and our body um, from other from bad bacteria and things like that. Um, when you have an injury, it helps to repair um, your injured tendon or There's too much inflammation in the body um that can cause a lot of different things such as like arthritis when people have um arthritis restless leg syndrome things like that it also can cause heart disease um stroke um pretty much it's like the immune system sees your organs or sees whatever inflamed area of the body as a um like as a foreign as a foreign object and so when it comes to the alopecia it sees our hair follicles as when our scalp is inflamed when we have too much inflammation in that area it sees our hair follicles as a um foreign object so it goes to attack that which causes the hair loss hair thinning and it can cause the alopecia which causes that redness and that itching and that burning and also like the um the 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 bumps and stuff in our scalps so that is pretty much what that's all about and so how do you fight that how do you fight um inflammation um as anybody else is when you have a when you have when you're dealing like even with arthritis things like that you know doctor gives you medication to try to um, in like an anti-inflammatory drug to give you an anti-inflammatory drug to reduce the inflammation in your body um, when it comes to the alopecia of course once we get our biopsy done the doctor says yeah it's inflammation it's it's an alopecia what they do is give you the steroid and the steroid is supposed to reduce the inflammation in the scalp as well um, some choose to stay on the steroid and do it for long periods of time and some don't such as myself i decided not to they also give you a top they can give you a topical cream or they give you the solution the solution that you can put on your scalp as well i will never tell anybody not to do so i will not tell you not to take the not to do the shot not to do the creams not to do any of that because to each its own you have to decide what route you want to take and what's best for you and what you can handle not everybody can handle the scalp burning itching and stuff and not any, everybody um you know some of you don't know exactly how what the next step is honestly all of us are kind of in the same boat we don't know what the next step is so we just try stuff but there are some people who are just tired just don't feel like using product after product because they haven't seen a positive result and so in that instance they continue with it that's all fine and dandy there are ways to um fight inflammation in the body while still ma managing and maintaining the good inflammation in our body as well and we could do that by eating um by eating a more anti-inflammatory diet um in my last video i showed a book i'll probably post it somewhere up in here um a book called the anti-inflammatory zone and it's a book that i've been reading i got it like three years ago and um the doctor who wrote the book um pretty much breaks down inflammation what inflammation is and how it can affect the body and then also provides um eating habits as to how to reduce inflammation in the body um again it's not a diet um i don't want to call it like it's a diet i always say lifestyle change when you're in any time you're trying to make a lifestyle change um 
everybody goes on their own specific journey due to certain things that are happening to their body some people go strictly vegan because that is the best choice for them some are on like other diet fads like keto diet and all these other things um but again it's best to talk to a doctor it's best to talk to your nutritionist also about it because some things are not really they're making you deficient in some areas but you can make up your uh vitamin intake and mineral intake using other natural remedies so um for me and you've probably heard from other youtubers who are um dealing with alopecia pumpkin seed oil pumpkin seed oil is amazing okay pumpkin seed oil is pretty good um i use this brand of pumpkin seed oil it is um 100 pure cold pressed pumpkin seed oil i use this in my hair oil <clears throat> so i mix my own concoction of oils so i use this and i also drink this there are people there are um pumpkin seed oil vitamin pills okay and some people take the pills that's all fine and dandy me personally I was like, listen, why take the pill when I can just drink it? I put this in my tea. I do not drink this on its own. Um, it's an oil. I have a very serious gag reflex. Okay, so um, this texture, so I drink it. So I put it in my tea. Um, I'll probably post on my Instagram or something how I use it and things like that and so, yeah so I I drink that in my tea and I drink that daily so um, and I put like I said I make my own mixture of oils put it to my scalp and that's that this video is very short that's pretty much all I have to say um, I will post the book information if you would like to get the book I will post um, the picture of the book as well as I've said and I hope this video was helpful if you have any um, questions or comments go ahead and leave them down below thank you for tuning in don't forget to subscribe if you like this video don't forget to like it comment thumbs up it all that jazz it and don't forget to click on the notification bell to know when I post a new video that's it Toodles.